Hello everybody, it's your favorite West Virginia on Space here, and as this is the month of spooks, it's very common for people to be thinking about different kinds of monsters and such from fiction and mythology across the world and all that jazz. But that got me thinking, because I'm weird, what monsters do my scribbles believe in? AKA you guys. So of course that does leave the question, so the only way to know is to ask. But I decided to make it interesting, rather than just ask, hey, what monsters do you believe in? I'm gonna turn into a video where I ask, well, some of them, what monsters they believed in, or believed in were real technically, and then I proceed to say if I believe in them, what my opinion on that is, just because I thought it was an interesting video to do, and I think it'll be fun. So let's get into it. Shadow Flare 64 is up with his thing of, of a lot about demons. And honestly, that's a pretty fair one thing. And I gotta be honest, you know, I'm a Christian. I've mentioned this a few times on the channel. I mean, like, you know, just casually. And of course, because of that, I believe demons are real. I think that's a pretty fair cut and dry case. I mean, I know there's those weird Christians that didn't try to say that demons aren't actually biblical, but like they are. Like, this isn't me trying to get like sort of religious war. It's just like a statement of fact. I mean, like, I don't. It's like saying that people who believe in the Greek gods believe in Zeus. It's like a, just a statement of fact here. I mean, I'm probably mean. But yeah, I totally believe they're real. I don't obviously know much about what they're fully like. And honestly, that's probably for the best of my mental health. But um, yeah, I, yeah, demon's definitely real in my opinion. Emmett or Frederick suggests the ghost one. And honestly, that's a pretty good one. It's a very classic kind of like monster or concept in, in the cultures across the world. And yeah, I fully believe ghosts are real. And not even like a, oh, well, there's psychic memories trapped in the wall or something like that. No, I, I fully believe they're real. That's not even a question I have to question myself about. It's not the, it, it just seems like a statement of fact to me. I mean, I, obviously, it's not because it's scientific, but I mean, like, like America, for example, is like one of, if not the lowest, is like the country that believes in ghosts the least, and it's still like 50% or more of the population believe in them. Everywhere else, it's higher. And like, they've done studies where if you took every single account of someone saying they saw a ghost or a ghost activity or something like that, even if you imply, no matter how many, like, if you apply a ton of filters, you know what I mean? But that, like, obviously, it's like a statistic or probability, you'd still end up with some of them having to be real because the number of them are sheerly huge. Like, you think UFO sightings are, are a lot. You need to look into the ghost sightings. No one bothers counting them in a lot of cases because it's just too dang many of them. So, yeah, ghosts, I fully believe, are real. Special Agent Dale Cooper suggests the Chupacabra, and honestly, I have to kind of say no. Like, was there probably some kind of, like, rabid fox or wolf or whatever that probably injured some kind of sheep in a very weird way? Oh, yeah, probably. But I don't believe there's any kind of monster behind it. I don't believe there's a lizard creature or some weird kind of vampire thing or some government experiment. Not, no, I think none of that happened. I don't, I don't really think that kind of Chupacabra exists. I've never seen a nearly enough legitimate proof to believe anything like that. I think the closest thing to a chupacabra that has ever existed, and hopefully will stay that way, is just some poor, poor canine that got a form of rabies or mange, and, you know, poor thing on that one, because that can uh, disguise a lot of the symptoms or, or traits of the chupacabra, so, yeah, I don't, it, it, for all intents and purposes, I don't think the chupacabra is real. And last but certainly not least is Squiffy's, Squiff, Squid, Squiffy's, Squiddies, I can never say his name right, sadly, um, is his suggestion of Wendigos. Now, if you've been on the channel for a bit or seen some of my videos, um, I'm terrified of Wendigos. Um, I even have a whole video dedicated about my fear of Wendigos. So, yeah, obviously I'm scared to death of them, but do I think they're real? Now, that's a bit of a tricky question. I could play an old, oh, well, Wendigo psychosis is real, so the Wendigo is real, and that, I mean, kind of, but, like, that, 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 that's cheating. It's like saying, look at clinical lycanthropy and being like, yep, werewolves are real. It's not what people mean, not, not really, and I just think it's cheating. So about, like, an actual, like, Wendigo monster or spirit, do I think that is real? And maybe, I mean, like, listen, like, objectively, I cannot rationalize. I could not tell you all, oh, well, there's proof here, here, or this, that Wendigos are real, right? I, I can't. But, I just kind of think they are. Like, I just do. It's probably, it's obviously not empirical in any manner, but I just kind of do, maybe. It's like, so I just kind of file it under a maybe. So, you know, go, I could go either way, honestly. I just hope I never have to figure that out for real. <laughs> But yeah, that's um, all the comments for today on this one. That's what the monsters my subs believe in and uh, my opinions on whether I think they're real or not. So if you liked the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to you know, subscribe and all that jazz, and I'll see you all next time. Yeah. Hey, why don't you hit that sub button? You're going to become a subscriber. Get to see my content quicker. Wouldn't that be nice? I bet so.